Hey Nightmares, how you doing? Hope you're doing well today, tonight, this evening, this morning, at this period of time. That is hopefully the end of all times. No, I'm just kidding. It's gonna be it's gonna be the end of nine and nine. Hopefully. Provided everything goes according to plan. But regardless, how are you doing? Again, because I've already asked. Cause I'm done. Thanks, Stream Elements, you 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 real you really nailed that one, didn't you? Yeah, you tad late there, tad late. Anyway, I'm gonna wait a little while longer before uh, starting the stream, by which I mean getting into it. Oh, that was loud. Your mouth evolved or re uh, what? Oh, meowth like Pokemon. Oh, that isn't bad at all. Nice. It, I'm assuming you mean the Alolan Meowth, right? I don't see any reason why anyone would use a normal Meowth, unless I just really like Meowth. Which, to be fair, that's understandable. Everyone has their favourite Pokemon. <laughs> awesome. What, what is Alolan Meowth? Is it just Dark Normal? Or is it Dark something else? Or is it just Dark? God, I don't even remember. I freaking hated Summon Moon. I don't remember anything about it. Okay, let's get into this game though. Just dark. Oh, really? Interesting. Interesting. You'd think it'd be a dark mix with something else, but no. So anyway, welcome back to 999. We are ever so close. The memories of the escape? No, okay. We're so close to finishing it. You only like the Pokemon that story? Oh, fair enough. Fair enough there. Completely understandable. Okay, so the way we're going to do this um, is we're just going to finish up the last few pathways. Uh, which means we've got to wait for our menu to be accessible. There we go. Okay, so. There's a key we've missed in this novel piece? Oh, interesting. Okay, well I guess we've got to do that, because in order to get the good pathway this way, we need to do all of these key segments, right? So we've got to do this anyway, regardless. Um, then what we're going to do is... Well, I don't know. Let's see, let's see what we've missed here. Even the specter of death hanging over them, the discussions continue for some time. Okay, so this is just after Zero explained to everyone how I the game we works. we were finished with that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through oh my god enough all we're doing is talking so by this point everyone has just met each other they don't know who anyone is no one trusts anything zero has just told them this huge message no one understands what's going on we're all super confused and apparently there's a point here which is locked meaning there's a bit of conversation which we need to we, we need to do something here i'm not sure what it is but we need to do something here in order to unlock the good ending down here. We need to do something there, as well as here, 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 and here. Meaning we have to do several escape rooms. Oh no. Okay, so we have to do one, two, and three escape rooms again. Which I was hoping we wouldn't have to do. We would just have to do novel segments, but we're going to have to do escape rooms. 
That's okay. At least you get some elf help, what? Oh, cause Santa. Oh, fudging, I get it, I get it. Talking won't solve anything. It can't help us find our way out of here. You really sure you wanna just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. Oh my God, don't you just love being back here? Simpler times. They're complaining because they've only used one and a half hours. Simpler times. Remember those times, Santa? When we only had half an hour left and we were all panicking? No? No, you wouldn't remember, because you're not there yet. That's the team. Right. <laughs> Very well, then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not going to be fun running around knowing we got to jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Well, thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. And remember how Snake's not dead? You remember that? Because he's still alive, because he hasn't blown up yet, supposedly, even though Clover said that it wasn't Snake and we're all super confused. Simpler times. But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait, I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. And we were doing so well. Why is it always Lotus that causes the problems? Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Santa, oh, you Santa, too. Not you too. Yeah, basically. Hey man, I just bought these shoes. No one cares, Santa. This is a life or death situation. I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him. You got another thing coming. What the hell, man? <laughs> Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh God. Fine, I'll go into door five. I can't Look go in there alone. Look at seven. Seven actually being- Seven's been good this entire playthrough. Seven has been like actually a, a huge help. This entire playthrough, Seven has just been there, willing to do what it takes. Every step of the way, and he gets nothing but bullied from it. It's unfortunately and disrespectful. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. What? Don't worry, you'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. Because I do. It's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Ace has also been a nice guy this entire time. See, we have, we have a great team with Ace, Snake, and Seven. Those guys are the real MVPs. Seven is seven, and Snake is two. And if you add Clover's four and my one, the digital root will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is 14. The digital root of 14, one plus four is five. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. Wait. What about the Waiting. other four? What's their digital root going to be? Lotus, Santa, June, and our bracelet numbers are 8, 3, 6, and 5. 8, 3, 6, 5. What would our... So the digital root of that would be 4. But my question is... Oh, we can't check the flow. I'm like, how do we unlock this part? Do we get the thing wrong? What happens if we say... Um... Five, for instance. Five. That means there's no way. Mm. Wait, something's off. Eight plus three. Plus the digital root. Of <laughs> it's four. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, he corrects us instead. Then we can go. Yeah. So the team assignment. Seven snake clover. Okay, eight. so he corrected so us. I still don't know what we need to unlock here, because it's like there has to be a choice we make, right? Are these really the beyond door five? I never. Of course, if I went, I could. I oh I no, I don't have a clue. All right then. It seems we've reached. I'm going through door. We're over there. The door's not going. I which door? See which option? 
I don't understand. There's a there's a lock here, right? So we we've done something we've done something wrong. I'll go through door. There's nothing to worry. I just need to. See. This should be fine. I should see the other four. Looks like Ace and the others are going. See, I don't understand. There's something we've missed here. There's something I've missed more accurately. Now then, goodbye. Be careful. Okay, so let's skip all of this because clearly I've missed something. Maybe this is something we come through later if I go down the other path. So I can't do it now because I haven't gone through the other pathway. Hey! Maybe. The beep. Hey. Yeah. Oh, the. You know, will the other upset? Well, you be. Roger. Yeah, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess we. I'll go first. An option. Mm, yeah. It's it's got to be something that we find later on. Okay. So basically, yeah, sure. coming back here is. Not a now issue. It's a later issue. <laughs> oh, it's counting down. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a later issue. Okay, so if instead of going down that route, we decide to move to here. Okay. Now that we've moved through to here down the middle, It's saying this is unlocked. For some reason, I don't understand. So we've clearly done something right in this section of the novel here. But now these are blocked off, which is good. Because if those are blocked off, it means we haven't done the things to help with Clover on this side here. Or something. All right. So well, let's go. Awesome. So we've failed the... Um... Okay, okay, okay. So basically what I'm doing, to explain what I'm doing is I have purposefully chosen to fail all the, the circumstances that would lead to unlocking this pathway. What that means is that we should go down this direction into the alternative ending. Now, hopefully doing that and going down this direction to the alternative ending will mean we unlock something up here. And if we unlock something up there, then we can go down this way, get all these keys unlocked, which would lead us to get this ending down this way. Hopefully. If that's not the case, then I don't know what I don't know what we meant to do because that's literally all I can think of. Because we failed the conditions to unlock this ending, meaning we don't go that way, we go this way, and that's 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 I can't think of anything else. That's the next door. Wait, a piece. Of this is map of the ship. <laughs> I found a map for. I see. Okay, so this is all normal stuff that's happened. Well, that was. I should keep the. Hey, uh, where's Clover? Okay, so Clover's missing. What the hell is she up to? Now, Clover's missing. Oh no, Clover's still here. Huh? What the hell are you doing? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? What the hell is that? What? You've got something in your pocket. What is it? Oh, this? Uh, um. This is. Hmm, I wonder. What the hell? Come on, we gotta hurry. What? Huh? Clover, what's that on your back? What's on her back? Okay, so this is different than what we had last time. This is a different situation than what we had last stream where we went down this way because I didn't fulfill all the things. So she's not gonna tell us anything about the piece of paper. She's not gonna tell us anything. And now we see something on her back. A stick. Hey, Clover, what the hell's that thing on your back? Is she ignoring me? Clover has something on her back, and she's not telling us. Oh, for crying out loud. This is different. This is good. That means we're doing the right thing. We're getting a different ending, which means more information, which means we can go down a different pathway. The big stairs. Huh. So this is where it ends up. Just like it says on the map. My family's being very loud downstairs, and I hope you cannot hear them because they are being very loud. <laughs> Ace, did he head down? There he is. Look, the four others are there too. Really? Let's join them. Jumpy, Clover. 
So now, remember that in this playthrough... Well, actually, not remember, I'll have to explain. You can hear... Uh, uh. No, I don't live alone, Supreme King, how you doing? Okay, so to explain what's happened, we've now got the different novel end uh, segment. The reason for this is, you remember how over here Snake gave us the clover, and then we gave the clover back to the, to Clover, like the four-leaf clover, we gave her the bookmark thing, and we explained to her that you need to have faith, you need to have hope, because something, something, everything will turn out, and Clover was all happy. And then in here, we told her that her brother's not dead, because his left arm was sticking out, or whatever, all that stuff, and then and then her sister, uh, Clover was all like, yeah, yeah, Snake's not dead, Snake's not dead. This is different. This is different in that because we haven't fulfilled all those previous objectives, because we didn't tell Clover about the Four Leaf Clover bookmark, because we didn't tell her about her brother, because she doesn't know he's still alive, we're going down a different pathway. Just to explain what's happened, because that previous stuff hasn't happened. Clover isn't super happy because, oh my god, my brother's still alive, thank you Jinpei. It didn't happen. Oh, you can't hear them. Okay, that's good. That's good. What's up? So because she doesn't know, things are gonna change drastically. We found it! Found what? We found it! What did you find? The last door! We found door nine! What? Come on! Just follow up! Okay. So I'm gonna keep skipping through here until anything has changed. Jumpy, we finally- Yeah. Because some end. of the stuff is still very much the same, Something and then some things change later. Seven of us are on two people. Is there four third? We've only got nine. Hey, let's go. Yeah. Hey, what about door two? This, this is what's different, because Clover doesn't know her brother's alive. What about door two? Door two is the only one we didn't. <gasps> we haven't gone through it. I mean. Oh, in the no, in this version. Oh. Not only that, but in this version, we didn't go through door two. Okay, right. So in this version here, what happened is someone went through door two. We found out Snake died. In this version here, we tricked everyone into going through door two. We found out Snake died. In this version, no one's been through door two. Meaning that no one even knows Snake is dead. Snake has just been missing this entire time. Yes, that is true. Oh, fudge. Snake's just been missing the entire time. That's different. Are you guys okay with that? Not investigating it, I mean? So what? We found door nine. We don't need any of the other doors. Santa, you forgot about a brother. What's the point? Huh? What's the point in going to door nine? Hmm. We can't all go through it, right? Hmm. Then we should do what we have to do before we go any further. Hmm. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. The best way to finish it quickly is to do the border pieces first. You know? Uh. Or what? You think all seven of us should go to door nine? And then we argue over who stays behind and who gets to go? She's got a good point. Do we really want to do that again? <sighs> who knows? If we check out door two, maybe we'll find something. Maybe we can find a way to get all of us out. Huh. I don't know what might be in there. We may not find anything. But don't you think it'd be better to at least have a look? I mean, am I wrong? Does that sound wrong to you guys? No, no, it sounds perfectly logical. We might even find snakes dead by- I mean, snake! I mean, snake. We might- we might find snake. Hmm. 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 like Minecraft villagers. Yeah, you do have a point. The last time I checked the clock, it was 4.30. It's not like we've got a lot of time, but if we're quick about it, we might have time to take a look. You're right. Let's go take a look at door two. The elevator can take us down to door two. Who shall go there? Let's see. Me. I'm going. Oh, Clover's going. Oh, and no. June 7 and I need to go with her. Hey, why do you get to... I don't mind. We'd only waste time arguing over it. Jumpy, I'm okay too. Well, we're not going to door two then. See? Can we just go now? Ah, <sighs> fine. All right, let's get going. 
Meaning Clover's gonna find out her brother's dead with those three. Right as the ending is in sight. And that might be a little problematic. Okay, be careful. Lotus, would you be so kind as to go with me? <laughs> go with you? Well, I didn't think people still talked that way outside of the 1950s. What? Well, I'm a mother. Would that be a problem for you? What, is that, what does that even mean? Uh, that wasn't what I meant to... I was hoping you would come with me. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though. I was kidding. What is... What is... What's she even saying? I'm so confused. What did she even mean? <laughs> so, where was it you wanted to take me? There's something I wanted to show you. Hey, man, what the hell? I'm not important enough? <coughs> Get wrecked. Well, it's not like that. Once I've shown Lotus, I'll show you. Why can't you show us both? Really? Of course. Fine. Do whatever you want. Why can't you just show us both? Thanks, Junpei. Are you coming, Lotus? Fine. Doesn't look like they're going to be back anytime soon. He's gonna kill her, isn't he? I might as well go and see whatever it is you think is so important. He's totally gonna Thank kill her. You. Well then, shall we go? Ugh, they're so slow. And what's keeping Ace and Lotus? Oh, the elevator's opening. Are they back? Clover, I guess you're the first one back. Wait a minute, why is Clover the only one here? Where's everybody else? What happened? Clover? Where are Ace and Lotus? Mm hmm? Oh, uh, Ace said he wanted to show Lotus something, so they went into that hallway. Oh. Then they went over there? Yeah, I think so. So where are June, Santa, and Seven? Why aren't they with you? Uh-oh. You really want to know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Here. Let me show you. Oh, no. Huh? Bracelets. Oh! <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, holy shit. She just straight up went, Here are their bracelets! Haha, -ha, they're dead. <laughs> like she doesn't even seem slightly concerned. She's just like, you really want to know? I'll show you. They're dead. Yay. No, 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 no way. No way. This, this has got to be some kind of joke. This, this can't be real. <sighs> Three, seven, six. Yes, we know. The bracelets can only be removed if they die or if we escape. We we get this. We get this. We get this. We get this. But <laughs> why? Revenge for my brother. Revenge for my brother. He was forced into door three and murdered. You need at least three people to open a door. Who were the two that opened that door with him? It could only have been Santa and Seven. Which is something we worked out last time. Santa and Seven. That's why I killed them. But June, though. Why? Why did you kill June? Why June? Because she tried to protect them. <laughs> <laughs> Clover has just gone full psychotic. She was in my way. She had to die too. Clover went from being all sad and upset in all the other playthroughs to just straight up killing people. Bam! Seven's dead. Bam! Snake's dead. Bam, June was dead for getting in the way. No. 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 Hey, Junpei. <sighs> That is just, that is the face of a psycho. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's leave this ship. What the hell are you talking about? To to open a numbered door, you Yes, I know. You need at least three people. But as long as we have this. That's the zero bracelet. You've got, You've got something, something in, your, in pocket. your pocket. What is it? She took the zero bracelet with her. Oh, this? Uh, um, this is. Oh. Oh, straight up. She took the zero bracelet. See? You get it now? 
If we have the Zero Bracelet, we can leave. You and I can open door 9 with just the two of us. Because 5, which is Jinpei, plus 4, which is Clover, is 9, plus 0 is also 9. See? So let's go. She straight up killed three people and is now saying, hey, Jinpei, we can leave. <sighs> Come on. Hurry up. <sighs> Jinpei? And Jinpei's over here like, you have killed people. And Clover's like, yeah, and? Jinpei. Over. Yeah? <gasps> well, I mean, that wasn't necessary. She didn't have to kill us, too. I mean, we could have just left with her. I don't understand. She's like, she went full fudging psycho. Thanks, Junpei. Like, what is that? What is that creepiness? Like, that is just straight psychotic. Can we get, like, a, a screenshot of this without the, like... Yeah, run. <laughs> get help. Someone. Get help. Like, I want a screenshot of this without all the stuff in the way. But I don't think that's possible. I'm just gonna borrow this. She took our bracelet too. She's gonna go escape on her own. Bad end. Let me ask you a question. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> okay, so we save this information. We've got another ending. There are two left. Okay, so. Now, the question is... How do I unlock this? That's my question, right? We can't go down this way. Because we don't have the stuff to unlock it. We can't go this, because we don't have the thing to unlock it. So... I'm confused. I might look up a, like... A quick explanation to work out how we're meant to get this ending unless we're just meant to go down this path let's see if i if i select the three door here sorry santa but i still want to go through door three okay wait hold on let's let's pick this one first you know who zero is no spoilers no spoilers supreme king this way no spoilers i don't know how you would know anyone oh wait now that's unlocked Oh, you have to choose the right option. Oh, I see. You have to go through a certain... You have to do the certain option correctly. Right. So to unlock this path, we had to choose this door. This door meant we had to go through the first class cabin and the casino. Those were... Those were musts. Those were must-dos. Now, if we were to choose outside the lab... <sighs> Whew, thank God we got out of there. This one has been done. The laboratory. So the laboratory is where the, we learnt the information initially from... Hold on. There's the shower room, and then this one is the operating room. What was up with the laboratory? I'm trying to remember what we had to do in the laboratory. He's a Mega Man character? Yeah, I don't get it. I haven't played Mega Man, actually. Okay, let's see what happens if, if we do this. A long hallway, huh? Okay. Right. So we did- Okay, so we've already unlocked this stuff beforehand. Kathan, thanks for the host. Appreciate it. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. So, okay. So previously we've already unlocked whatever's in this escape room here. With the laboratory. I don't remember what that was, but we did that. The eight door. What was the eight door, though? No, hold on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to access the laboratory. I need to know what it was. Computer and the locker. I don't remember this at all. You're doing alright? That's good. That's good to hear. I think this was the one where Clover was stuck in that room. Yes, this is the one where Clover was stuck in that room. And um, Lotus was t telling us about the morphogenetic field and how there's the whole telepathy thing. Right. So we've gone through that path. We've gone through this path. Now what we need to do is we need to unlock this bit. There's something in the engine room which we didn't do before. So now we need to redo that. 
Good to hear you're doing all right, Kato. Now that we're on the right path, we have to hit every single bit of each of the components. So there's something in here we didn't hit, we didn't touch on before, and that's what we need to change. Hey, Leash, how you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. Hope you're also doing well. Okay, there's nothing in there. It's good to hear, good to see, good to read. Okay, how do we do this again? Right, I, th I think we climbed up the stairs. Speed let's speed run this, let's speed run this. We went through the other side of this. And then we used the pulley system. Right? But which way was the- which way was that? <laughs> Oh, can you not go down? Uh, okay, so maybe we go through B first. We either go through B or C first. Okay, it was this one. And then we took the wheel. And we go back through B, and then we go through C on the other side. Yes, 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 yes. Turn the wheel. Turn the wheel, we'll get the item on the other, on the bottom of it. I believe the box is- Yeah. June's down over by there. Okay. She doesn't- Well, of course not. It... What could be causing her? Nah, it's got- She gets dropped. If you think about it, it's- So, you're okay, so that's yeah. just her just saying that we're all weird we because everything's going on as normal, even though we're experiments. You mean experiments. we're being used for some sort of experiment? Is that what you're saying? Dunno, but it does... And that's the same conversation as before, so nothing's still changed there. We haven't unlocked anything here you yet. Know, speaking of experiments... This. This is the information we needed that we didn't get last time. There was this experiment some scientists did with rats. Supreme King, thank you for the host. Appreciate it. Hello, Mr. Pitt. How are you doing? Hope you're ha doing well today. Thanks for the host as well, Mr. Pitt. First, they took a squarish C-shaped tank and filled it with enough water that the rats could drown in it. Okay, this is the information we needed. So in the flow menu here, you see how there's that locked key that I was trying to get? This is that information. For some reason, I think it's because we talked to Snake in this room and he was talking to us here. He's now going to tell us more information here and that's what we need. The tank has two exits. Just to make it easy, we'll call one A and the other B. But I don't know my alphabet. How am I meant to get to understand now? Exit A is pitch black, so dark even a rat can't see anything. But exit B is electrified, which means the rat can't leave through it. So, what would a rat do if it was put in this situation? Wait, what was the question? <laughs> which exit would the rat choose? What were the exits again? One's electrified and one is pitch black, right? So let me guess, it goes to the... The electrified one, simply because it can see? I don't know. B, of course. The rat has no way of knowing that oh. exit B is electrified. Okay, that that too, right. That makes more sense. Exactly. The rat goes to exit B. That that makes that would make more sense. <laughs> of course, like I said, it's electrified. Which means the rat can't get out that way. So, after a lot of trial and error, the rat finally finds exit A. Hmm. I can't say that's very interesting or relevant. It's simply the story of a laboratory experiment. You're right. It isn't very interesting. Yet. Hmm? Huh? Nani? See, these scientists repeated this experiment over and over. They were cruel human beings who liked to torture poor little rats. Using hundreds of different <laughs> rats over several generations. This produced some surprising results. With each generation, the rats took less time to find the correct exit. Eventually, a rat was put in the tank who instantly chose exit A without even attempting to go to exit B. But that wasn't the most impressive part. The same experiment was conducted in another laboratory, far from the original one, with the same results. No, on second thought, the results weren't really the same. The rats in this second experiment began the trials with significantly faster times than the first rats in the initial one. These rats weren't related to the others and had never even come in contact with them. And yet, 
They all easily found their way to exit A as though they already knew. So, I think it was earlier on in another pathway that we took where it was explained something along the lines like, this is this is talking about the morphogenetic field again, how they all psychically knew the answers or whatever. It's it's the same explanation that we had about the the painting of the dog and how the two different test groups, one of them took didn't understand it was a dog at all and then the other one just immediately all saw it as a dog. It's that, it's that same explanation. It's the same thing happening here, if you were there for that one. What if you weren't, well, you then it's... It's basically the same thing. The people are, well, in this case, the rats are learning about something without having actually learned it in the first place. When all other information would say that they shouldn't be doing the thing and they should be taking the electrified route because that's the most obvious and that's what they should do and it's what they have proven to do in the past. But now they're doing the experiment again, late, months, months later, completely different situation, completely different rats and everything. And they're not even taking the electrified one, they already know. It's like they're psychic, they're, tele they're telepathic. I could have just said it's telepathy. And that probably would have made the, the explanation a lot easier. But you know, I'd like to not explain things well because English is fun. <laughs> Are you suggesting something like telepathy? Yep, or I could have just let the game... Yep, that's fine. <laughs> they were passing information to one another through some undetectable medium? Why do I just assume the game's not going to explain anything? I don't know. <laughs> How the hell would I know? I'm not any kind of scientist. I don't know what made him do that. But I do know that story's true. And if you've got another explanation, I'd sure love to hear it. You're just wondering if your Skyrim character's able to hold 1,838 out of 485 and can still move. Well, yeah, but it can't run, and that's the most important thing. It can't run, therefore you're carrying too much. You also can't fast travel, so you're carrying too much. Drop your inventory, you are making me sad. <laughs> Come on, let's get going. There's still a lot here we haven't checked out. And we gotta get the hell out of here before June passes out. Hey, wait, there's something I want to ask you. What? Why did they use that tank for the experiment? Huh? Well, I mean, it seems like you could conduct the same experiment without the water. They could have just used a dry box, you know? If they needed to motivate the rats to escape, they could have... I don't know... put some bait by exit B or, or something. I mean, do they really have to make it so the rats can drown? You know, the word emergency comes from the same root as the word emerge. You ever think about that? No? Huh? Well, an emergency is something urgent, often something dangerous. And to emerge means to sort of come out, or appear, or rise out of something else. You killed the horse? Okay, Mr. Pitt, here's the solution. Do the Dark Brotherhood and grab Shadowmere. That horse can't die. Problem solved. So what's going to emerge in an emergency? Inspiration. Inspiration? Yeah. Think about it. When the chips are down, either you crack or your mind focuses and pulls up what you need. Uh, I know this. I know this feeling very well. It's called exams, and I crack under the pressure. Let's move on. So in an emergency, your real potential emerges. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's why the rats had to drown. They had to be in danger. There had to be an emergency for inspiration to emerge. I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to tell you, Mr. Bear. That seems like your problem's already been solved and you're just ignoring the solution. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh. Okay. So now that that's all done, we've unlocked this, we can then move on to the cargo room. I believe, if I'm correct. If I'm correct, now that we've got that little bit of information, we can then just straight move on to the cargo room. Now, I just want to make sure, yes, okay, good. Now there's something in here. Okay, so we need to grab everyone's photos. Card has a headshot on it, a headshot, yes. I'm not really sure what purpose the card can serve. Whoops. Reproducing crates. You just want to use whirlwind sprint? Understandable. Have a nice day.
Okay, so there's nothing in those boxes. Do I have all of them? I don't think I do. Okay, I think I might have all of them. Let's try it. Locked, we need the key, all the box of numbers. Okay, right. So this, this is the last card. We should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool, we've got all of them now. We can open it. Now we finally have all nine picture cards. We just need to insert these cards into the slots at the front of each box. You know which card goes in which box, yes? Uh, yeah, of course I do. It's... You just match our number, then you pop the correspond. So for instance, the, car the card... Okay. Oh. Huh? Oh. Hey, June, are you okay? Oh, June's fainted again. Okay, so this is different than the last time. Last time we did this, June didn't collapse. She was perfectly fine. We put the numbers in the boxes. Everything was good. Now she's collapsed for some reason. For some reason, she's collapsed again. I'm sorry. I, I gotta go check on her. You finish the box thing, all right? Uh, um... Just put the cards in the boxes. I'm counting on you. Now, what's happened to June? Are you all right? What happened? Can you stand? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fine. You don't seem fine. The game is learning. How's it learning? What? Wait, how is the game learning? What's the game learning from? I just tripped. You... She just tripped. She tripped, ladies and gentlemen. She tripped. Don't give me that. Now is not the time. But it's true. I, I tripped over a box. Just let me see for a sec. Huh? You're still warm. I saw her fall. I think she really did just trip on something, you know? God dang it, June. I can't believe you just tripped over. Oh, yeah, the different outcomes. Yeah. But that's not because the game's learning. That's because we're, we're doing all of these little checkboxes in a specific order. Right? So we've chosen this pathway. Then we've chosen this pathway. We've talked about the things in this bit here. We've talked about this. We're now doing this way. All of this is based off our previous decisions. We do all this in the right order, we unlock this way, and we go down this final path. Actually, I lied. This isn't the final path. Technically, this is, because this is also a locked path. But we can't go down this path yet, and I'm not going to spoil it. But we can't go down this path yet. Still, to fall down like that? I think she's probably still a little messed up. All right, well, let's just get out of here as fast as we can so we can get you to a hospital. Well, I don't think it's anything that serious. Are you are you for real, June? You are literally fainting and collapsing for no reason. I just need a little medicine and some sleep, and I'll be fine. Medicine? Medicine, huh? Does medicine remind you of anything, Santa? Well, if we could get in touch with anyone outside, I'll bet Ace could swing that for you easy. Wait, why? Ace? Why? Huh? Don't you know? He's the president of a pharmaceutical company. Cradle Pharmaceuticals is the name, I think. Ace is the president of Cradle Pharmaceuticals, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you remember that name, Seven came across Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Why is Stream Elements not called Swaggy Sally? I'm sad. Swaggy Sally bot's broken. Stream Elements is used instead. <coughs> now, anyway, anyway. Cradle Pharmaceuticals. If you remember that, Seven was involved as a detective trying to find out what happened to the kids that went missing nine years ago. Ace is the president of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Cradle Pharmaceuticals was involved in that experiment nine years ago. Lotus's children were involved in that experiment nine years ago. And Cradle Pharmaceuticals was involved. Are you getting what I'm saying? Mr. Pitt. You didn't have to gift a sub to Stream Elements because Stream Elements is Swaggy Sally Bot. It's just that when the thing's broken, it uses Stream Elements instead of Swaggy Sally Bot. But the bot that does things is still Swaggy Sally Bot. It's still here. It's just not doing the Stream Elements stuff. Ah, but thank you for the sub gift anyway. I appreciate it. I don't know why, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Mr. Pitt. It can both have a sub. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. You know what? Stream elements, you got a fudging sub. Look at you go. That's gonna be... Every, every bot in my channel now has a sub. Stream, stream elements has a sub. Swaggy Sally bot has a sub. Me? I have a sub. <laughs> I'm not a bot. Am I a bot? I'm not a bot. Yes, more sub points, that's true. We're eight away. I don't think... We're not gonna get it anytime soon, but you know what? That's fine. 
Anyway, moving on. Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Ace is the presence of that. That is like a big fudging important thing. That is important as hell. Their flagship product is an anesthetic drug called Soparil. 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 I've heard of that before somewhere. Have, so, have we heard of Soparil? Soparil. It's an anesthetic that's a gas at room temperature. A lot like how nitrous oxide is. It takes only a few seconds to spread, and even a small amount is very effective. <laughs> Mr. Pitt, don't get any ideas. Don't do it. You've already spent so much this month. Quickly accepted it for widespread use within their police and military forces. It was an effective crowd suppressant and room clearer. It was practical, ethical, and the humane nature of it made it the ideal drug. I'm sensing a butt with this soporil thing. Like, there's got to be a butt. At the moment, it just sounds like the perfect drug. It's been around for about six years. They developed it from the extracts of several different roots. It became popular almost as soon as it was made public, with many governments placing large orders. Mr. Pitt. Mr. Pitt, thank you for gifting the sub to Undead Kirsty. It's gotten to the point now where... Literally everyone who speaks here commonly is has is subbed. So now it's just picking other people who are followed because like everyone's fudging subbed. Thank you so much, Mr. Pitt. Demand for Soparil skyrocketed. And of course that meant Cradle Pharmaceutical stock did too. Why do you know all of this? I heard it from the old man himself. Wait, what? Ace? When? By the number four door at the central stairway when we were searching the second class room. Remember how Snake, Seven, and you went to door five? It was back then. I asked him what he did for a living and he said he ran his own company. Dang. After that, we just started talking and I guess it just came up, you know? Huh. Interesting. Are you worried about something? No, nothing. Uh, He's struggling with the numbers, isn't he? What the hell is he doing? <gasps> oh, I remember why. I remember why. June, don't push yourself, all right? I'm not going to say it, but I remember I remember why why he's having so much difficulty now. Yes. Santa, could you take care of her? I'll go check on Ace. Looks like he's having trouble. Sure. What are you doing? What happened? Nothing. I my vision has gotten rather blurry, I think, because of fatigue. I can't see very well at the moment. What can't you see well? These pictures. I don't care to admit it, but I may be developing <laughs> Mr. Pitt. Mr. Pitt. You'd think. <laughs> You'd think. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub gift to Sir Volvent. But you'd think with the amount of money you've spent already! <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but Mr. Pitt, you showed in the Discord that you spent like $700 this month. I'm feeling guilty! <laughs> Growing old is a difficult thing. Anyway, he's developing presbyopia, whatever the hell it was. At any rate, I'll leave the rest to you. I'm feeling awfully tired, so if you don't mind, I'd like to rest for a bit. Not 700 on me, but in general, he spent that much. And I'm like, you maybe want to, like, save your money a bit. <laughs> like, How could simply looking at cards have tired him out? Hmm. But if it wasn't, what would make him so uncomfortable? Oh my god. To Kurt him as well. Mr. Pitt, thank you so much for all of these sub gifts. No, thank you. <laughs> so I don't, I don't think Jim Payne knows what presbyopia, pres, pres, whatever the fudge that thing is. I'm not going to explain it because I know the game will explain it at some point, and I don't want to spoil that. Prosopagnosia. Oh, there it is, prosopagnosia. Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. Someone called you Mr. Beast. I mean, you're basically spending that much money, like, sheesh. <laughs> In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. 
so they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Maybe... Maybe he's got prosopagnosia? There we go. So Ace has prosopagnosia. Maybe. But that's not what Ace said. Ace said he had something else. I th he might be trying to cover this up. What do you mean, what's with this six left? What are you talking about? Huh. Well, he looks depressed enough to have it. Oh, Ace! Oh well. Time to solve the nine boxes puzzle. Okay. That still hasn't unlocked the thing yet. Ace's card is in box one. Okay, I so this is all going to be the same. He's going to put the same in for the rest, and it's done. Yeah. What do you mean, oh, what's the what next the... goal unlock? Nine. I guess I'll take them. Okay, we've got the nine pins now. And now it's unlocked, which means this is unlocked. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to get this final path down the left? Are you ready? We've gone through all the steps needed to unlock it. Leave no one behind. Let's go. Now, if you remember last time... If I remember last time, because I definitely don't. Look, it's... Seven and Lotus. Now... What happened last time, I think was that Clover was missing, obviously, uh, a missing Clover. Clover was missing, and then we got, we went, we all went looking for Clover. We couldn't find Clover, but we found June, and June was dead. And we were hurt from June being dead. And while we, all we, all we found, we found someone dead, so we went to examine the body, and then we got stabbed. And we don't know by who, we don't know what happened. Mr. Pitt, thank you so much for another sub. How many are you going to keep doing? Like, please stop. But also, like, why are you doing them one by one? I have so many questions. You could have just done them all at the same time, or you could have just, like, stopped. I don't... <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Pitt. Now Lo-Fi will... Next time he pops by, he's going to realize he has a sub, like... Uh... Anyway, Seven and Lotus. We've got a problem. Clover is gone. Right, so Clover's gone. Give Pika a sub. Pika doesn't have an account. What? What do you mean, gone? Oh, really? But can't you do, like, the drop-down thing that says gift to, um, X amount of people? Although, I guess I don't know how the Twitch app works. I don't use the Twitch app. Screw the Twitch app. <laughs> when? Why? You two went into door one with Clover, didn't you? Yeah, we went through the door together. Okay, so Clover's missing. But Clover barely spoke to us. She just did her own thing the whole time. Huh. There were four rooms on the other side of door one. She wouldn't let us into the fourth room. She just said, I'll take care of this one. Translocation competition. I don't even know what that means. And shut the door. Hey, Curtin, how you doing? Hope you're doing great today. Mr. Pitt's been gifting subs like crazy because he doesn't know how to save his money. <laughs> So you got a sub. <laughs> I really shouldn't be attacking Mr. Pitt like this when he's literally gifting subs. Like, no, because what happened, Curtum, is he's gifting them to random people in the community and literally everyone currently in chat is already subbed. So Twitch is just throwing them out to random followers, I guess. And that's what's happening. <laughs> she must have blocked it with something on the other side. We waited for a while, but Clover didn't come out. I hope you're doing well, Curtin. We called for her, but she didn't answer. So I kicked down the door and we went into the room. But... Hmm. It was empty. Clover wasn't there. You just woke up and came on Twitch and noticed that someone gave you basically a free $5 sub. Hell yeah. <laughs> there was a door on the other wall. And it was open. <sighs> we figure she opened the door and left by herself. We ran after her, of course, but... Well, obviously we didn't find her. You figured that much out. Our fudge. Hell yeah. It's our fudge and we're sharing it with the world. We are going to end world hunger by giving everyone fudge emotes. Because that's about the best we can do here. <laughs> Clover's gone. When did this happen? We got here just before you. You certainly have excellent timing. So you haven't searched anywhere other than near the staircase? No, we haven't. 
Very well then. We'd best separate and look for Clover. We haven't much time left. Let's begin. Yeah. Okay. She's not here. So we're going to be looking for Clover still, except this time we're not going to get stabbed while doing it. Something else is going to happen, and I don't know what. Your card is now declined? Yeah, Mr. Pip, because you spent over freaking, what, $1,000 at this rate? And, like, individual small $5 purchases. And, like, what's happened, Mr. Pip, is the bank's probably gone. This dude has spent very, very small $5 purchases, like, 10 times today. It's probably not him. We're going to decline his card until he sorts it out to make sure it wasn't stolen. I think that's what happened. So you may or may not need to contact your bank. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. That would be my first guess, though. But I'm no expert, so don't sue me if I'm wrong. Because I'm no expert. Ha. Huh. No, she isn't. Anyway, let's look for Clover. Right. Just in case, we should go take a look in the shower room. Pay to win for me in Warframe? Budging rep. Shower room? That's where her brother is. She might have gone to see him. Well, we might as well check. Oh. Let's go. Wait, this didn't happen last time. Last time we didn't go to the shower room to check. Good. We can still get in. We should thank Seven later. Oh, we didn't get, we didn't have that happen last time. This no is luck. different. Oh, no, maybe we did do it last time. Yeah. I don't think she's here. Cuz she's not in the here. Smell is horrible. Let's check the back just to be sure. No, she's not here. I don't have a gamble Sink. thing, hurt him. Because in this stream, we are, we are not siding with the surprise mechanics. There are no loot boxes in this stream. <laughs> Just where did your sister go? How dare I? Uh, no surprise mechanics in this stream. Such a horrible way to go. The skull shattered, the left arm's hideously twisted. Unsub no, hurt him, please. How, how many how many do you have? How many points do you have anyway? I guess I can't check. Oh, I can. You only have 85 anyway. That's that's the big gamble right there. <laughs> Bones. My brother's left arm is um it's not like a normal person's arm. The accident hurt him really bad. If you could gamble all, you'd get 170. I don't know. Let's check. I'm gonna spin. I'm gonna spin a wheel right now. I'm gonna use wheel to decide. Do I give Curtin points or do I take the points away? How how about that, Curtin? How about that? I will spin said wheel. It is spinning. You just landed on give. You know what that means? You freaking get 85 points. Congratulations, Curtin. You won the freaking spin. <laughs> of course. Of course. Why didn't I realize it earlier? Um, Jumpy? Oh, sorry for making you wait. Let's go. What? He's not even going to explain. Okay, so remember the last run. People who were here. The last pathway we took, Clover explained to us that the bone in his arm, it couldn't have... When, when, we, Junpei, when June, we said the bone in his arm guys? was... Um, uh, that the, there was a bone sticking out of his arm or whatever, Clover freaking lost it. She was so happy. She said it couldn't be my brother. In this pathway, she's previously told us that her brother was in an accident and he doesn't have an actual proper left arm. We've just gone and seen the body, saw the bone sticking out of his left arm, and Junpei was like, wait a fudging minute. That's not Snake. Hey, Shelter's guy, how are you doing? I'm not a weeb. Hope you're doing well today. Did did something happen? Clover is... Clover is dead. Wait, what? I found her in the first class bathroom. We just heard the news that the brother is safe and now you're gonna hit us with she's dead? <laughs> Mr. Pitt, are you serious? You said your card was declined? You said your card was declined? <gasps> nice, Shelter Sky! Uh, 
I, I guess congratulations question mark so does that make them your brother or half brother or something that would right congratulations you have a brother slash half brother probably thumbs up <laughs> that's awkward also thank you for the sub mr p even though i'm confused you may have oh so you ha just had no money left is that what it was yeah that will happen <laughs> but there clover is she's dead Clover. Clover. Why? Why did this happen? <sighs> Clover. No way. Let's There's a lot of that in this game, Curtin. There's quite a bit of it. To be fair, in the game's defense, they're just panting after running really fast and doing all sorts of other exercise. But yeah, the game really makes it seem like moaning. It's a little... It's whatever. It's whatever. <laughs> so many Clover's dead. She doesn't even know her brother's still alive. Are you all She right? died thinking her brother was dead. So that's fun. Yes. I, I think so. You should get some rest. Here, the bed. Can you sit? Yes. Who was the first to find the body? Me. Why did you come to this room? To look for Clover, why else? <sighs> Mr. Pitt. You know, I could just take the sub goal away. <laughs> if I took the sub goal away... I would be helping you to save money. <laughs> how does that make me? A how am I a weeb? Ban him. What is going on? <laughs> I found her body in the bathroom. As soon as I did, I ran outside. I got to the top of the stairs by the casino and yelled as loud as I could. Hey, guys, I found her, but it's bad. She's in the bathroom in the first class cabin. Just, oh no. Or something like that. Oh no, there's no escaping it. There's no escaping the sub gifts. Then I went back to the bathroom. A Santa and Lotus showed up real soon after that. But I guess you two hadn't heard me or something because you didn't show. So I took off down the stairs to look for you. After that, I, I mean, you know the rest, right? So he arrived here and Clover was still alive? Seven. Th there's one more thing I'm worried about. <laughs> well, look who's here! <laughs> Who may- That's- I'm hurt, personally. Oh, Mr. Pitt, I can't even get through the last freaking sub. And yet you're over here making- faking a- Thank you, Mr. Pitt. I appreciate it. But to answer your question, that's a fudge emote. And I made it. <laughs> so I feel personally offended. I'm just kidding. Oh, you did mean to hurt me personally. Oh, okay, great. Cool, cool. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I'm not hurt. <laughs> what? You stuck one of those plates in between the door and the frame, right? Why did you do that? Come on, didn't I already tell you that? I did it so that the door wouldn't lock. A fudge emote for a... A what? I don't think I get it. I'm not lying, Supreme King. It is absolutely 100% a fudge. And I am absolutely 100% not personally hurt. Yeah, dang right, it's a fudging place. This is a dictatorship here. Oh. I see. You're really coming at me with the insults now, huh? Not that it's wrong to be gay, but you're using it insultingly, and that's mean. There's nothing wrong with being gay. And how dare- Mr. Pitt! <laughs> Mr. Freaking Pitt! What? Have we hit the sub goal yet? I'm confused. I don't know if it's updated in time. Thanks for the other sub. Holy shoot. Is that a 25 gift sub? Oh my god, that's a 25 gift sub symbol. You can't even load without getting gifted to? Oh no. Oh no, I'm sorry. You can go back to lurking. It's okay, it's okay. You can go back to lurking now. Everyone's begging you to stop, Mr. Pitt. They just want to see the game and you're being inter- and it's constantly being interrupted with sub gifts and sub gifts and sub gifts. <laughs> so we could come back to this room? 
Oh, you think I did it? Well, I don't know. Well, do you really it think kind Seven of did it? Depends on what you say, doesn't it? For crying out loud! <laughs> Seven, Seven wouldn't have killed Clover. Come Follow on. Follow me. A closet. <gasps> oh, is my accent too strong for you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being Australian. <laughs> We are at the goal, Mr. Pitt. That's, that's the goal. We've hit it. We've hit the freaking 35 sub goal. And now I have two more emotes to make. Are you happy? Yeah. I was already struggling to make the next one. There's now something. I have to add another. We couldn't open it when we were getting through this room. I figured there might be something pretty important in it. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Good dirty fudge and melted fudge. <laughs> no. I don't know what I'm doing for the next ones. I figured eventually we might figure out what the numbers are for the safe. I don't know how I'd do a dirty fudge though. It would look the exact same as the normal fudge. Because dirt's brown and the fudge is brown. And if we did, I didn't want to screw around with door five again. So I put the plate in the exit door so we could get back in that way. You get it now? Yeah, <laughs> you had its time to increase the goal. Maybe I'll, but maybe I'll turn it into a follower goal instead of a sub goal. Um. Because <laughs> here's the thing, right? The sub goal was at 20, was, was set to 25 last week or the week before. You want to know the reason why it jumped to 35? Because Mr. Pit again, Mr. Freaking Pit again, freaking gifted 10 subs to get us to 25. And then he freaking upped it to 35 and... You're not wrong. You know, actually, maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe I don't want that, Curtum. Maybe I don't want that. Yeah. Figured it wouldn't open. This is... rust. Don't do that, There's Mr. Pitt. Here. That means... Don't do that. That's like a lot- that, like, you're just spending too much money at that point. Just- just keep the money for yourself, like- <laughs> someone open the safe? Wait, why is the safe open? Uh. Uh. Huh? Hmm. But that safe was locked when we first came in here. Maybe why is it open? Clue. Anything that might lead us to discover who stabbed Clover. Behind this door. You get almost 400 every two weeks, I don't see a problem. I see the problem. <laughs> I see the problem. I don't want to rely on you for my source of income. <laughs> hey, Undead Kirsty, how are you doing? Congratulations, you got randomly gifted a sub by the system and also Mr. Pitt. Enjoy the emotes. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. The ninth man's body is behind there. Maybe I should have another look at it, just in case. But you're nice. Keep the money. Oh, I'm keeping the money. I'm absolutely keeping the money. But I can't rely on it. <laughs> like, yeah. like, the money's mine. There's no refunds here. <laughs> oh, the hell. This, this smell is... Oh. Oh. Did he just vomit? <sighs> He's seen so many dead bodies, yet this is the one that makes him vomit. Game. Wait, it's it's gone. His bracelet, it's gone. It was right next to the glasses. Oh my god, the ninth man's bracelet's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, did that? Hold on. Did that make it to the stream? I don't think you did the whisper right, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe that was the point. That was probably the point. Okay, cool. I straight up... Okay, because here's the thing, right, Kurt? Here's the thing, right? My bot tells me um, when I get whispers as well. So I just assumed that was a whisper that you were sending me. So when I saw it on the stream, I was like, ah, uh, you screwed up. And then I realized you did it on purpose in the normal stream chat because I'm a fool. <laughs> Where'd Junpei go? Uh, Enjoy staying up all night sleeping, I guess. I don't know what that means. I think that's like the fifth time I've heard it. I still don't get it. Oh, there you are. Does it mean you're gonna sleep you or you're not gonna stay up all night? I'm so confused. Yeah. Did you find something? <sighs> but to answer your question, no, no, Curtin. The money's mine. <laughs> and no, no alt accounts. Come on, guys. No, nothing. Twitch terms of service doesn't allow that, and I don't stand for it. What's up? Oh, it won't matter. People lose fudge every month. Exactly. Ah, uh, well, I wanted you to take a look at something. Can't end world hunger if the fudge goes away. What is it? 
Why do you have so many alts? Clover. <sighs> what was it you wanted to show me? I searched Clover's body again. A real shame. She was stabbed once in the back. Probably by a knife or something. Understandable. Use a password manager. Sponsored by- I'm kidding, we're not sponsored by anyone. <laughs> Could you imagine though? What a great segue that would be. Vanilla covered fudge. What? No, 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 not vanilla. No, 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 no. Going with lemon fudge. Sponsored by a Johnny. Hell yeah, I sponsor- Wait. <clears throat> this stream is sponsored by Mr. Pitt at this point, basically. Get your subs monthly today. <laughs> and? I found Oh, sorry, I skipped it. She found- he found the thing in Clover's hands. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Basic stuff. Well, I did borrow one thing. What? I'm opening it. Truth had gone, truth had gone, and truth had gone. Ah, now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand. Where have I heard that before? I've heard that before somewhere in this game. Truth is asleep in the dark- or, or just the sinister- the darkness of the sinister hand part, I've heard before. What is this? Some kind of secret code? Mr. Armpit Jr. Get wrecked. Hmm, a code. Sinister hand means... The left hand. And here's my reasoning for it. Back in the days, back in the olden times, the left hand- if you were left-handed, that was basically a sign of the devil. Right? Or only the devils were left-handed or something like that. So that's sinister hand. Sinister was a term used in heraldry that meant to the left of the bearer of a coat of arms. The left hand. Hmm. The left hand. What does the left hand mean? You go by many names, Mr. Gift God. Does the darkness of the sinister hand have something to do with the bracelet? There's two things sticking out on either side of the face. The left and right sides of the face. Oh my god, wait, is this when the things happen? Holy shoot, this is when the thing happens. Okay, guys, this is important for this game. We're about to fudging step up from escaping rooms to solving huge god dang puzzles that will blow your minds. Left and right. Kurtum, you know what's funny? You know what's funny about that? He's been called Mr. Beast beforehand by someone else. Not even on this channel. Mr. Pete was telling me about this earlier today. You're not even the first to say it. You're not even the first. Left and right. Right and left. Truth is gone. Truth gone. Hmm. That's true. They both do have the Mr. in them. Oh, <gasps> there's Mr. Beast. And then there's Mr. Pitt Jr. Is Mr. Beast Mr. Pitt and Mr. Pitt Jr. is his son? Nah. Truth gone, maybe those two words. Truth gone. Uh, gone had truth, gone had truth, gone had truth. What else could gone and truth mean? How about reading them backwards? Enogdahaturit, <laughs> no. <laughs> what else could gone and truth mean? Th that's what I meant to say, Curtin, unless I said that poorly. Exactly, Shelter Sky. You do pronounce Ajani, Ajani. Not gonna lie to you. You had us in the first half. Not gonna lie. <laughs> what else could gone and truth mean? Truth, of course, means something that is correct. Something that's fact. In other words, something that is right. You could then safely assume that gone means left. After all, after someone left- I did? Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if I explained myself poorly. But in this case, they clearly refer to their directional homonyms. So right, left, right had left, right had left, and right had left. Ah, now truth, now right is asleep in the darkness of the left. I, what? Then truth equals right, and gone equals you have a left. Pink, how much is a pink gift? How much money have you sp You've spent too much money, Mr. Pitt. Go to your room. <laughs> the left and right of the bracelet. These two things sticking Yikes. out. So if I... Press them in the following order. Okay, truth had gone, truth had gone, truth and gone. So it should be right, left, right, left, right, left.
1438-3421. Wait, did it just... 1438-3421. I gotta write that down. 1438-3421. Cool boy! Show me the money! <laughs> Tongue twister. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Genius. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. I wrote that number down because I thought I was gonna have to like catch it. And the game gives it to us on a silver freaking platter. Cause screw me being intelligent and having forethought, am I right? Huh? Hey, what are those numbers? Hmm. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Yes, we get it. We get it, Jinpei. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. The game trolled me. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Huh. Enough! No, we need to remember one, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one, ladies and gentlemen. And to make sure we all remember it. Because if we don't remember it, there are going to be problems. We gotta remember one four three eight three four two one. Oh fudge! Wait, I. There we go. We gotta remember one four three eight three four two one. I'm not a weeb. I'm not a weeb. One to the right, four to the left, and oh, bingo! I knew it was for this. Oh, is this some sort of note? Let's see. Fact number one. The nonary game was played once before, nine years ago. Fact number two. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. That's Snake. Fact number three. It was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceutical CEO, who we know is Ace. Jintaro Hongo, that's Ace's real name. Creative Pharmaceuticals Chief of Staff. Nagisa Nijisaki, Creative Pharmaceuticals R&D Supervisor. Teriyaki Kubota, I've mispronounced like half of these names, I'm so sorry. And majority shareholder in Cradle Pharmaceuticals, Kadagachika Musashido, I must punish them. For the innocent lives they sacrificed. This is the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls might be saved, I now state the truth. Zero. Huh. Sorry, but do you think you could all come with me? Come with you? I want all of you to go to the big hospital room. Why? There's something I want to be sure of. What do you want to be sure of? I want to know if the person I suspect is really the culprit. Wait, then you're saying... Yeah, I think I've got it figured out. I know who killed Snake and Clover. You must punish them? Uh, mm, chill this guy, that's a, that's a big, that's a, mm. Anyway, if you could all please move to the big hospital room. See, this is, this is the moment when I was playing through this game for the first time where I had, like, the game really does a good job of like leading you onwards, making you realize little bits and pieces, little tidbits as you go through, as you learn a bit of the lore and the background and like why you're all there. Then you start piecing some puzzles together and you're like, yes, the Titanic, and then all ice and Alice, and then there's the coffin and you see coffin multiple times and you start thinking, is Alice here? Is You start piecing things together. And then you get to this point in the game, you get to this point in the game where you have unlocked all of these aspects and you've done them in a row. And the lock just unlocks. And suddenly the game gives you so much. And it was this point where I just fell in love with this game. I mean, I already loved it beforehand, but like, it gets, it just got so much better at this point. And that's just, I don't know, it's, this is what really got me. And this is the reason why I continued to play this series into the second and third game. Was it the knife that killed two people? That's the cut of the pl- Mr. Pitt, Mr. Pitt, we can't have this. We, we can't have this, Mr. Pitt. 
We can't have this. I'm sorry. That's negative 20 fudge points to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Peter. It had to be done. <laughs> I'll explain everything as soon as we get there. <laughs> Don't worry. Fudge points are meaningless. It's fine. You'll get them back later somehow. Dying leads to death. You're absolutely wrong. Death leads to dying. It's five o'clock. We don't have a lot of time left. Let's go. Since when? What do you mean, since when? Since always. Actually, uh, before we get started, I was hoping you could do something for me. Ace, Seven, and Lotus, could you please place your palms on the red? Hmm? Huh? Why? If we need to get to the shower room, why don't we just... No, we're not going inside. Wait, what? Once you've authenticated, step away from the door. Why? Please, just do it. What's he working out? I don't know, Mr. Pete, you would've just... Oh, I think you get fudge points for gifting sub... Uh, for getting... Sorry, for subbing? And I think gifting subs also counts? Maybe? I don't know. That'd be my guess. Or perhaps you don't want to know who killed Snake and Clover. <sighs> Fine. What about you, Ace? Lotus? Very well. Sure. I have this idea. I don't think this device responds to a hand placed on it. Oh. It instead reacts to a bracelet being brought close. You don't actually need a hand. I knew it. You're a genius? No, you're not. It's fine. Hmm. Huh? What was that about? How should I know? Thanks. I appreciate your cooperation. Are you going to explain yourself, Junpei? By the way, Ace, would you mind if I asked you something? What is it? Do you know who I am? What? What? What kind of question? Just answer it, please. Who am I? You're Junpei, of course. Who else would you be? You're a weeb? <laughs> Who am I? You're a weeb, Harry. You're a weeb. Unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. Wait, what? Actually, I'm Santa. Wh what? <laughs> the clothes I'm wearing, I borrowed from Junpei. And the clothes he's wearing are mine. We had a little swap. That's ridiculous. Impossible. <laughs> See, remember how we talked about how Ace had prosopagnasia? I think I butchered the pronunciation there, but he can't differentiate between faces. So we've just told him that we've swapped clothes with Santa. And now he's freaking out thinking, what, you're Santa? How could I not know this? So you're saying I'm not Santa? Of course you aren't. Why? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. 1 plus 7 plus 8 plus 3 equals 19. 1 plus 9 would be 10. The digital root would be 1. But the four of us just opened door 3. You can't possibly be Santa. Your bracelet number isn't 3. And that's his explanation for why he's not Santa. His explanation is, your bracelet number is not 3. His explanation is not, I can see your face. I literally can see your Jinpei. That's not his explanation. It's 5, right? Huh? <sighs> You're exactly right. My bracelet number is five. Sorry, Ace. I tricked you. Of course, I'm not really Santa. I'm Junpei. Who could possibly think I was? <laughs> it's obvious I'm not. Th to think I was? Ridiculous. Unless. I guess you couldn't see just how obvious it was. <sighs> Santa's been- Santa. Ace has been caught out, and he's ashamed of his prosopagnasia. I asked you before, didn't I? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? And you answered, if you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. Most people wouldn't say something like that. The first thing that would come to anyone else's mind wouldn't be the bracelet number. There'd only be one thing they'd say. One sentence. You don't have his face. Bam. <sighs> He's been caught. Ace, you have prosopagnosia. Am I right? Prosopagnosia? What's that? No clue. Prosopagnosia is... Very well, I confess. Bam, confess. I have prosopagnosia. I cannot differentiate human faces. And that's sad. Is that what this was about? 
You want to mock me for my disorder? No! No, no, not at all. I'm not making fun of you at all. In fact, I feel kind of bad for you. No, the reason I brought this up is that there's an excellent chance the person who killed Snake has prosopagnosia. Wait, what? Do you what? Mean? Wait, what? I'll just come right out with it. I think it was you, Ace. You killed him. Wait, hold on here. How did you jump to that conclusion? What makes you think that the person who killed Ace would have been someone with prosopagnosia? I mean, Snake, Fudge. Now I'm just getting names mixed up. The shock That's in everyone's ridiculous. faces. What possible evidence do you? I have three pieces of evidence. The first, think back to a few hours ago. You made us argue over the three doors here in the big hospital room. There was no way all seven people could go through them. Oh. Lotus suggested that we sacrifice one of us. <laughs> then you, Ace, said, I'll stay here. Why would you say something like that? It's pretty simple, really. You didn't want us to see the dead body in the shower room. <sighs> you see? If Ace stayed behind, there were only two doors the rest of us could go through. Oh my god, Junpei out here with the big brain IQ plays. Door 7 and 8. There was no way we could get through door 3, the shower room. You knew that, didn't you, Ace? That's why you volunteered to stay behind. Come on now, I think that's going a bit far. I can understand if you're jealous of my bravery, but... <laughs> <laughs> you're just jealous of my bravery. <laughs> Please don't devalue my actions. I only wanted to save the rest of you. Surely you can understand my altruism. Altruism, huh. You already knew, didn't you? You knew that whichever doors we took, eventually we'd end up back in the big hospital room. What on earth are you saying? Of course I didn't know that. How could I have? Really? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh well, that's cool. I've still got two more pieces of evidence that say you're the killer. What is- What bravery? I see a man in a coat. Yeah, he's a, he's a doctor. Doctors are very- Are you looking in the mirror again, Shelter Sky? Yeah, it was bad, I'm sorry. Second, <laughs> I tried. That, as I said earlier, you have prosopagnosia. Then you mean to imply that a person who can't distinguish human faces must be a bad person? No! Junpei, they call that prejudice. No! No, I am not that stupid. Then why? Well, before I explain, I suppose there's something I should tell you. The corpse in the shower room. It's not snakes. Wh what? I didn't put it together right away, but there was something Clover told me. She said that Snake's left arm was prosthetic. He'd lost his real arm in an accident. Mr. P, are you asking to lose another 20 fudge points? You, you're literally asking to lose more fudge points here. I don't, I don't, I don't understand, Mr. P. You'd think you'd know better. <laughs> but the body we saw in the shower room. Remember the vote for the games you want to see each, me play each week. You know what? Maybe I should maybe I should add a reward for voting. Every time you vote, you get 10 fudge points. Is that a rule? No, it's not a rule. I was I was kidding. I was doing it for the memes. You can have your fudge points back. Guy X's left arm was definitely flesh and blood. But maybe maybe I should make the thing. If you vote, you get fudge points as a reward. Maybe that would make people vote for more often. Thinking. <laughs> In other words, Guy X couldn't possibly have been Snake. What about your other 20 points? You can still lose those. Those ones are still lost to the void. You'll get them back someday, eventually, I promise. Eventually. <laughs> oh god. No. That's impossible. Let's say, hypothetically, that the killer didn't have prosopagnosia. If that were the case, he would immediately realize that Guy X wasn't Snake. Even if the clothes were the same as Snake's, their faces would be completely different. It would have been obvious they were different people. And yet, they still killed him. Why? Rip Mr. Pitt. F in chat. Why would they kill a stranger who'd only just shown up? <sighs> On the other hand, if the killer did have prosopagnosia, it makes sense. They thought Guy X was Snake and killed him. Wait. Wait just a moment. Let's say you're right. And I mistook Guy X for Snake. Okay, let's let's say we're right. Okay, mm hmm, mm hmm. Even if I did. I would have had no motive to kill him. Mm -hmm, Why mm -hmm, would true. I want to kill Snake? I can think of at least two motives. Exactly, Mr. Pitt. 20 to nothing. And it's all just a meme anyway, because fudge points mean stuff all. One, Snake knew about your past. 
If he ever revealed what he knew, that would have been really bad. Oh. You. you really didn't want that to happen. Of course. The note beforehand said whoever had bracelet two was part of the experiment before. Snake was part of the experiment before. The note also said the one in charge of Ace Pharmaceuticals, the CEO, was the one of the people who ran the experiment. Ace is pharmaceutical company. Is He's Cradle Pharmaceutical CEO. Snake would therefore know about Ace. But the problem is... Ace can't recognize Snake because he's got prosopagnosia. Snake might be blind, sure, but he, he understands. He can hear the Ace's voice. He knew immediately who Ace was. So Snake would have probably gone up to Ace, said, I know who you are and what you've done. And Ace felt threatened and wanted to kill him. That's it. So to make sure Snake's mouth stayed shut, you killed him. It's a fudging point system that is a fudging lie. I figured it out. Oh yeah, absolutely. I never claimed it to be legitimate. <sighs> Two. Two. Snake had a grudge against you. You knew that. Or at least you could have easily assumed he did. Even without exposing your identity, he was a threat to you. You never knew when you might be attacked. You couldn't ever let your guard down. Every moment was a moment he might try something. You didn't want that kind of danger hanging over you. So you... Hey! Hold on a minute. Holding. My peanut brain grew by one inch. And some say his brain grew three times that day. What's the past that Ace wouldn't want us to know? Why did Snake have a grudge against him? Look at this. What's this piece of paper? Read it. The and you'll find out. The game was played once before nine years ago. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. That snake. It was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceutical CEO Gentaro Hongo. Your heart grew 1.5 times bigger? Well, that's unfortunate, Mr. Pitt. That's not much bigger at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kidding. What is this? Oh my god, Mr. Pitt. Are you for real? It's the message from Zero. It was in the safe in the first class cabin. Give me a break! Uh-oh. That paper is a lie. Uh-oh. Someone is trying to frame me. Uh-oh. Ace has lost it. Me. You said me, right? Oh. Oh, snap. Snap, you, you gave yourself up, Ace. You gave yourself up. You admitted it was you. No one said it was you. No one said you were CEO. You work at McDonald's, so maybe it's the cheeseburgers. Yeah, cheeseburgers are great. I love cheeseburgers. Wouldn't that mean you're admitting you're Hongo, the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals? Get wrecked, idiot. Or am I mistaken? Very well. I admit that much. Get wrecked, idiot. I am certainly the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceutical, Gentaro Hongo. So what if I am? I don't know anything about this nonary game that supposedly took place nine years ago. That's a lie and Everything on that scrap of paper is bullshit. You love adding everything possible to choose, but that, that's not technically legal, is it? Someone is trying to set me up, you see? First of all, first of all. First of all. Junpei, you're claiming I did this all by myself. No. Think that over, all right? How could I have killed Snake all by myself? We never said you did. Not Snake. It was Guy X. I don't care who it was. <laughs> I don't care who I killed. Tell me how I killed them. You said the killer put this other man into door three, right? Yeah, maybe. Then I couldn't have possibly done that alone. I couldn't have opened door three with only myself and Guy X. Nope, you could have. <laughs> the sentence is like, what? <gasps> huh? Huh? What? what? Well, Rip Mr. Pitt gets freaking cheap cheeseburgers because of McDonald's. Actually, Ace, when you were unconscious, I took something from you. Whoa, wait, hold on, what? Remember when you were injected with that anesthetic and fell asleep in the big hospital room? No, is he gonna play the big bluff? Is he gonna play the big bluff card? Yeah, back then, I took this. What did you take? No, you couldn't have. He reached for something. I got you, Ace. Your right hand there tells me all I needed to know. He played the big bluff and Ace went to check. Jinpei played the big bluff card and Ace went to check what was missing. Ace took the freaking 
watch from the ninth man who blew up. He took the freaking, he took the bracelet and he went to check for it. But Junpei was bluffing. He didn't have the bracelet to begin with. He just wanted to see that Ace had something. And he has it. You want to tell me what you were so worried about? What's in your pocket? What's in your pocket, Ace? Is it maybe the number nine bracelet? <clears throat> it's the number nine bracelet, isn't it? Boom. <clears throat> Ace, Guy X, and the ninth man's bracelet. That was all you needed to open door three. Junpei over here playing the dumb card for this entire game when really his IQ is freaking over 2000. Why not over 9000? Because that's an overused meme. That's how you killed Guy X all by yourself, Ace. All you needed was the number 9 bracelet in your chest pocket. <sighs> he just got outed. Exposed. If you want to play innocent? That's fine by me. Go ahead. Tell me. I don't have the bracelet if that's what you want to do. But if you could take off your coat and hand it to me, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, we'll have to take it from you by force. Right, Seven? Yeah. It'd be my pleasure. <laughs> Big guys going up here like, I can finally use my muscles for something. The case is solved if it was those peddling teens. God dang those teenagers. <laughs> okay, so the image of him is like all depressed, but he's over here laughing and I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> there we go. There's the evil psychopathic laughter that we wanted. <laughs> Well done, Junpei. Oh, he is creepy now. As you so correctly deduced, I have the number nine bracelet. He's a model, oh no! <laughs> I retrieved it while we were searching for the missing hardware for the red. I left the room I was supposed to search and headed to the first class cabin on B deck. My purpose was to obtain the number nine bracelet. Nine is a potent ally in the nonary. Adding nine to any set of numbers won't alter the digital root. As you can see, nine is a very useful number here. With it, one can go anywhere with anyone. It is, I suppose you could say, a game changer. Ace over here. Yeah, nine, nine, nine. Yeah, because there are nine people. There are nine hours to escape. And you have to find the number nine door. Nine persons, nine hours, nine doors. It's that's what it, that's why the game's called nine nine nine. So I made for the first class cabin to obtain it. In mere moments. I successfully acquired the number nine bracelet. There was also an unexpected bonus. The knife the ninth man had used. Oh no. I quickly pocketed both of them. Wait! Hold on. The knife. That means he killed us in the submarine version and in this other ending. Because we both got stabbed with knives in those endings. No, no, Mr. Pitt, the game doesn't explain the, the ending. That's... It's established from the very beginning that there are nine people in this game, one of them dies very early on, that there are nine hours they have to escape and the exit is by finding the nine door. That's established very early in the game. In fact, the game is misleading because there are two number nine doors, which technically means there are ten doors, but the game doesn't tell you that in the title, so actually, it's not a spoiler. So bam, get wrecked. <laughs> I made my way back to where I was expected to be. That's when I ran into Snake. Well, this guy X, actually. I spotted him ahead of me. He was heading for the large hospital room and hadn't noticed me. The man wearing Snake's clothes arrived at door three. When he stopped, I walked up behind him and called out, Snake. He turned around. Who is this dude then? Bully hey Johnny, he wrecked him. I'm not a bu- I'm not a bully, I, I don't- I, I'm just saying what, what happened, you know? He said nothing. His mouth simply hung half open. What is up with this face? Is that just what is that just what A sees because he has perspicnosia? Because then it would be whack a mole. What? He seemed dazed somehow, almost like a man half asleep. Perhaps he had been drugged. It wasn't important. I tend to gloss over little things like that. 
I was certain that man was Snake. Well, he wasn't. I knew Snake had taken part in the nonary game nine years ago. Being blind, it made sense that he didn't recognize me immediately upon our first meeting. But why then hadn't Snake said anything to me later? Surely he hadn't forgotten what had happened to him in the nonary game. But not once did he attempt to confront me. Interesting. Did his lack of sight prevent him from fully recognizing who I was? Or perhaps Snake had conspired with Zero to deceive me. <laughs> Big freaking tinfoil hat theory right there. He was conspiring with Zero all along. Regardless, he was a threat. And it was better to deal with him sooner rather than later. So really, when you come to think of it, Ace is the only person in this game, in, in this situation, who's a legitimate killer. Clover only went killing because she got absolutely depressed and messed up because she thought she lost her brother. That's the only reason she went killing anyone. Uh, the ninth man, okay, no, the ninth man is a legitimate jerk. He straight up got himself killed because he threatened someone with a knife. So we can ignore the ninth man. Ace over here, he is the only one who, with a sound mind, decided, hey, I'm going to kill someone. And I'm going to do it to cover my own backside. Altruistic he is not. He did not give up himself for the sake of everyone else. No, no, no. He just wanted to cover his own butt. Let me hear the painful sound of Ajani screaming like a girl. Eh, uh, I'll pass. I'll pass. Maybe, maybe later. Depends on if I'm playing a horror game at some point in time. Not now. <laughs> I had to get rid of him before he took action. With quick thinking, my plan went into motion immediately. I held the number nine bracelet over the red. I waved my own bracelet in front of the red, and then grabbed Snake's arm and shoved his hand against the scanner panel. There's only, there's only one thing we're missing here. Who put the red back together? The door. Was it the dazed dude? I threw the man through it. <laughs> Nine seconds later, the door shut. 81 seconds passed. And no one heard that. Because it's freaking soundproof almost. After that, I returned to my post as though nothing had happened. After conducting my own search, I returned to the large hospital room when the 1 a.m. bell rang. <sighs> Ace, did you kill Clover? Yes. Oh, and the truth come out. Does Ace is psychopath? Why? Why did you kill her? <laughs> she was Snake's sister. It was possible he had told her something dangerous. Additionally, she had gone through door one. It seemed likely she might have found it. Found what? Why don't you go through door one yourself? What's in door one? Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. What's in door one? Did I kill Pika? God, no. Pika's adorable. I'd never. What's in door one? Okay, the one door is the chart room in the captain's quarters. But what's in there? The zero bracelet, of course. Yeah, but Lotus and I went through door one too. No, absolutely not, Curtin. I am not a horrible human being. In fact, the the question is is irrelevant because I would never be starving to death. <laughs> And if I was starving to death, I'm sure I would have probably given up Pika long before to try and save her. I mean, to save myself from starving and I'd sell Pika and buy some food and probably give Pika a better home, you know, that sort of thing. Because if I'm struggling to eat myself, god dang, I'm not going to put Pika through that same situation. Will I eat you then? No, why would I eat you, Curtum? I'm not going to turn cannibalistic because I'm starving to death. I'd rather just die. We didn't see anything suspicious. Yes. I thought as much after I heard your report at the central station. Cause you're a snack. God dang it, Curtin. I doubt the two of you could find it. Hmm? Find huh? what? But perhaps Clover was different. Find what? Unless you're just talking about the Zero Bracelet? We are the Fudge community, true. We're technically all snacks here. Perhaps she had found it. I was, therefore, desperate to find her. And at last I did, in the first class cabin. I spoke very calmly. Did you, did you see, see it? it? See what? Don't act as if you don't understand. You were in the captain's quarters, weren't you? Uh-huh. What are you talking about? Hmm. 
Very well. Uh, By the way, what are you doing here, Clover? What did she say? What? Uh, nothing. She must have seen something and went to the first class cabin for a reason. What's in the first class cabin? There's blood on your shoes. It looks fresh. <laughs> did you go take a look at the ninth man's corpse? Right, so it is talking about the bracelet. I see. Your silence suggests that you noticed. You saw something, didn't you? You saw that his bracelet was gone. Oh. No! You aren't going anywhere. You're staying here. No! <laughs> Don't you run, little girl. The sleeper consuming you, all you need to hear the sound of me screaming like a weeb. I'm sorry, Shelter Sky. You're not going to hear me scream like a weeb. I don't know what to tell you. I don't even know how to scream. <gasps> why did she run to the bathtub? That was how I killed Clover. But why did you run to the bathtub? There's no escape there. You son of a bitch! <laughs> <sighs> I admit it. I've lost. I have lost. Completely and utterly. Don't misunderstand, Junpei. I didn't lose to you. I lost to Zero. Not you. I don't know, man. You would have gotten the wave with it if it weren't for me. So... You lost to me, bud. <sighs> I'm rather disgusted with myself for falling into such a simple trap. I look the fool. And it was a trap. Make no mistake. I was trapped and manipulated by Zero. I don't know, man. Make excuses for yourself. But, uh, we all know that's not true. Sleep, need, rest, eyes hurt, good night, HR, in a knee. <laughs> she see you, Shelters guy. Thanks for stopping by and being here. Maybe one day you'll get to hear me scream. One day. But have a good night. Sleep well. And I'll see you later. The man I killed in the shower room? If he wasn't Snake, then I have no idea who he was. But he was wearing Snake's clothes, and that was no coincidence. He had also been injected with something that reduced his cognition and prevented him from identifying himself or resisting... He already had anything. the sub, Mr. Pitt. That wasn't you. Believe it or not, that sub to Shelter Sky wasn't yours. And we can't forget the components that were removed from the red before we arrived. Was it from you, Kodum? No. Hold on a minute. You know, I'm going to make sure... Oh, wait, Fudge. Actually, I take it back. That was Mr. Pitt's sub from a week ago. <laughs> that was Mr. Pitt's gift sub from the last time he was gifting subs to everybody. My bad. No doubt that Zero planned all of this. My be. Zero made sure I would kill that man. Yeah, a week ago, Mr. Pitt. You've spent too much money. <laughs> it follows, of course, that Zero knew everything I would do. That I would try to take the number nine bracelet. That I would try to kill Snake. Everything. Zero planned ahead, by the way. Like, Zero has the big brain. If, if you thought Junpei had the big brain, Zero... Zero has the biggest brain. Because Zero worked all of this out in advance. Not only did he work it out, he knew it was going to happen. And he specifically set it up to happen. That's creepy, Curtin. None of that here. None of that in this channel. <laughs> I must punish them. For the innocent lives they sacrificed. This is the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls might be saved. I now state the truth. Zero. I think Zero is one of us. Huh? Hey, hey, Mr. Pitt. I'm guessing Curtin already knew you were a boy because he asked you to be his sugar Zero daddy. Is one of us? No. Wait. There's one more person. Snake. The man who died in the shower room isn't Snake. That means he's almost certainly still alive. So where is Snake? Also, yeah, that too. That too. It literally says Mr. in his name. Maybe Snake is Zero. 
Maybe he made Guy X wear his clothes so that we'd all think he was dead. Hmm. We're a snake now. But, but Mr. Pitt, we know you're not. What if he's off somewhere laughing at us? You identify as a man. Therefore, you are a man. I am confusion. <laughs> if he is zero, he must have been lying to us about everything else. Why in Warframe, though, of all things? Why Warframe, Mr. Uh, Curtum? Is he watching us? No, Snake can't be watching you. He's blind, remember? Silly goose. I just called Jinpei a silly goose. I believe I've finished with my confession. Why don't we get moving? Oh, are you sure? Let's just keep moving. Let's, let's just keep moving. Let's just ignore the fact that you've killed people. We'll just keep going. You can come with us, sure. Absolutely. No punishment whatsoever, Ace. What the hell is this shit? Because it's the most expensive game to cash on? I don't know, man. League of Legends can be pretty expensive if you want to get all the skins, and then there's Hearthstone if you want to get all the cards. That game's a mess. That's incredibly expensive. Then you have all the real life card games like Magic the Gathering. Those are expensive as hell. <laughs> you aren't going anywhere, you son of a bitch. We're gonna leave your ass here to rot. The cheapest thing on Warframe is in a something something or other. I don't understand. That is expensive though. That's like forty five Australian. That's expensive as hell. Why? Because I killed Clover. That's ridiculous. Why are you so upset that I killed the little bitch? Sheesh, Ace. She was nothing to you. A stranger you only met a few hours ago. Am I wrong? You bastard! <gasps> Blindsiding me with a punch, huh? You've got some fire, don't you? Wait, was that Lotus who hit him? I confess, I rather like a tiger. Yep, it was. It was. Hit him again, Lotus. like another one, then. Uh, before that. Well, Mr. Pete, you're gonna have to get used to it. <laughs> Let me give you one of my own. Don't you fudging dare, Ace. Huh? If any of you so much as blink, I won't hesitate to pull this trigger. Of course Ace has the gun! Of course Ace has the gun! When did he get the gun? I've already killed two, no, three people. Don't think I'm not ready to make it four. Wait, you've killed three people? Three people? What do you mean? Hmm. Very well. Let me take this opportunity to illuminate you. The person who killed the ninth man was me. What? Although I suppose to be more accurate, I encouraged him to get himself killed. <sighs> While we were examining the main staircase, he came to me and told me his name. I recognized it at once, so I gave him a little push just a little white light. what did you say it seems, it seems the settings for the for dead, dead were altered now it only, only requires, requires a single, single person, person to deactivate, deactivate the detonator in the bracelet are you and he believed that he believed it well he's just an idiot investigate what's beyond door five we'll meet again later and with that okay have a good one guys one point to clever legal killing? That's not clever. I mean, I suppose it's sort of sneaky and clever, but that's not legal. I'm going, I'm going off, off ahead, ahead now. now. Well, well then. then. Why is it stopping? God damn it! You, you lied! Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! I want to say Zero planned this as well, by the way, probably. I'm guessing. I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't. Uh, oh my god, oh my god! There's no time left! Listen, I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! And now the truth comes out. Who he was talking about at the very beginning, right before he died. His last words, he lied to me. Who was he speaking of? Ace. It was him! He killed me! It was him! Ah! I had four reasons for killing him. Oh, sure, please do share your reasons. Though. As I said before, in the Nonary game, the number nine bracelet is of utmost importance. Where is that negative one bracelet? It doesn't exist. 
If I had allowed him to keep such a useful tool, he, or it, would have become a threat to me. As such, I decided that he should be eliminated early on. This dude is a cold-blooded killer. I wanted the number nine bracelet. And he doesn't give a single flying fudge. If I could manage to obtain it, I would be able to manipulate the game as I saw fit. I would be unable to acquire the bracelet unless its owner was dead. That's the second reason. Even setting aside his number, he would have been nothing but trouble for me. He was aware of my past. He knew what happened here nine years ago. It was important that I eliminate him before he was able to disseminate this information. Well, how'd that work out for you? Lastly, I wished to conduct a simple test. A test to see if this nonary game was serious or a poor attempt at a joke. Oh, so to see whether he'd actually die? Yeah, he died. I needed to be quite sure. As such, I encouraged him to act against the rules so that I might observe the outcome. This dude is a cold-blooded killer. Like, he ha he he planned this. This is premeditated. I don't get your third motive. What the hell happened nine years ago? Didn't I say? The nonary game was played. I planned it out, and I conducted its execution. Why? What on earth was it supposed to do? I don't really think I have any obligation to tell you that. Are you kidding me? Hey, what's with this gun? Where did he get this? Why don't you tell her, Santa? On the other side of door six, we found the gun in the coffin in the cargo room, right? The bastard must have grabbed it when we weren't looking. Indeed I did. That was a pretty serious mistake, you know. Just saying you intended to leave it behind. Well, there isn't much time left. I'll be off then. Crazy. Well, where are you going? Do I really need to explain? I had assumed it would be obvious. He's going to leave. Lotus is eight, plus Ace is nine, plus the number nine bracelet he has. The digital route's nine. He's fudging leaving. I have the number nine bracelet. And now I have Lotus. Yeah, exactly. He's just going to leave. Wasn't there a door with a nine on it in the room that looked like a church? Excuse me, what, Curtin? <laughs> Excuse me, what? That's where you're going, isn't it? And how do you know that? Santa told me about it while we were looking for Clover. I see. Well, you are correct. That is my destination. But now I must say goodbye to all of you. Yeah, Lotus is eight, as in, as in she has the number eight bracelet. Not that she's actually eight years old. She is like 50 something. Ah, if that's what you mean. Don't forget my warning. <laughs> what do you mean, or? Okay, Ace has number one. Snake, the guy who we thought was dead but is actually not dead, had bracelet number two. Um, number three is Santa. Worst game 2018. No, no, no. It's a great game, Curtin. You haven't been around for the whole thing, but it's a great game. Um, let's see. Number four is Clover. Number five is the main character, us, Junpei. Number six is June. Seven is Seven. Seven has the number seven. Pretty, that one's obvious. Every game's got it. No, 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 I disagree. I disagree very heavily. Very heavily. Um, eight is Lotus, and then nine is the ninth man who died at the beginning by getting blown up because this guy told him to. Move, and I'll pull the trigger. I don't need her alive to open the door, you know. Shit. He's getting away! God dang it, Curtin. I mean, yes, but also no. Stop this. We can't risk it. Now, Lotus. Open the door for me, if you would. <laughs> Goodbye. What they're missing is FBI. Actually, Seven. Seven is a cop. He doesn't. He didn't remember it because he had amnesia, but he's a cop. And no, that was a door closing. <laughs> uh. That, however, <laughs> that was a moment. Hey, June, what happened? Are you alright? Yeah, I know, right? Perfect freaking timing. Jesus, you're burning up. Your fever's back. Are you okay? I'm okay. Really, I'm fine. You should be worrying about Lotus. But... Jumpy, don't worry about me. I just need a little rest. I'll be fine. Never know when people have a fever they moan. You should try- mm, I, I don't know about that one. Don't you remember? 
I just needed to rest a little bit last time. So please, please save Lotus. Think about what Ace has already done, Junpei. When he's got what he needs from Lotus, you really think he's just gonna let her walk away? Damn it. You guys go on ahead. Soon as June starts feeling better, we'll follow you. Go! Ugh. Huh. All right. Come on, Seven. We're going after Ace. We're going after Ace. And we're going to Ace the game, except probably not. Where are we on the flow chart? We're almost to the final bit. Hell yeah! Santa, you take good care of June. I'm trusting you. Got it. Let's go! Also, I swear Santa and Junpei have the same voice. I, I can barely tell the difference between them sometimes. I don't know if that's just me. We're gonna go chase Ace down with the number nine door. We're gonna chase Ace. Ha! I'm not funny, I'm sorry. Where are they? I don't see them. You think they already went through? They may have. Maybe. Let's check the red. Engaged. It's occupied. He's gone through. That means Ace and Lotus went through here. Yeah, it seems like it. What do we do now? Yeah, what should we do? Well, the big door is still vacant, but... The two of us can't do anything with it. Yeah, not even counting how our digital route isn't nine. What's that sound? It's the knocking. Knock, 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 knock. It's coming from over there. <laughs> Kurt, him, no. The coffin. Not in there. That's too small. <laughs> yeah. Let's open it. How? By force. No, Kurt, him. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> well, you never know till you try, right? The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer 1,000 failures. Who said that? I, I forget. Who said that? I don't know, man. Anyway, we've got to try. They're not going to be able to open it. Not Damn like it. that. See? Didn't I tell you? If you could just pull it open, why would it have something like that? Cut <laughs> him. Why is your mind like this? Get, get a fishing rod and freaking fish it out of the gutter. Get it out of there. Right. So unless I put in the right passcode, it's not going to open. I know the passcode. Was there some sort of clue somewhere? I think I know the passcode. Oh, we're not going to be able to use it. Are you kidding me? Hey, Junpei. I remember you mumbling about some weird numbers over by the bathroom in the first class yes. cabin. Yes! Yes! You got those numbers by solving the secret message Clover was holding, right? Yes! Truth had gone. Or something like that. Yeah, that's right. What about it? You use the numbers. Well, maybe that number's the passcode for this thing, too. Come on, that's impossible. No, it's not. Believe. Those numbers were the code to unlock that safe. Yeah, but the person who set up that safe in this coffin is the same person, right? Zero set up both of these. Do it. Try it. Yeah, probably. Well, then they might have set the same passcode for both of them. That's ridiculous. Why don't you just try it? I mean, it's not like you'll make things any worse. It'd just be a waste of time. There's no way they're the same number. Just, it's, it's gonna take you like 30 seconds to put in a number. Just put it in. You know that. You never know until you try. The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer a thousand failures. Gotta go 1%. See you, Mr. Pitt. Thanks again for being here and all the freaking subs. Holy shoot. Uh, have a good day or night or time zone, and I'll see you later. <sighs> <laughs> Who said that? You. Get wrecked. Fine. One four three eight three four two one. One four three eight three four two one. Ladies and gentlemen, is this the moment we find out what's in this coffin? What has been in this coffin the entire time?
Yes. What? You gotta be kidding me. This is the moment we find out what's inside the coffin. It's Pika! Pika Boo! <laughs> snake! It's Snake. It was Snake all along. You? Why? Ah, those voices. Junpei and Seven, unless I'm mistaken. Where are the others? Are they elsewhere? Uh. uh. Hmm. I see. I believe I got the gist of everything. Have I been sufficiently caught up? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> you missed quite a bit. That still doesn't explain why you were trapped in here. We've still got no clue about Zero's true identity, let alone why the hell he's doing all this. Why did he put Guy X in Snake's clothes? Is all this stuff somehow related to that notary game that was played nine years ago? Hmm. Hey, Snake, do you know anything? Um, what are you talking about? I apologize, but I have no idea what you're saying. God dang it, Snake, we, know, we already know. Oh, come on, just tell us if you know. I don't know what to tell you. How can I know something I don't? This is bad. We're running out of time. We need to go after Ace. What do we do now? The three of us can't make a digital route of nine. Yeah, we just get five. We're stuck here then. But if we add June and Santa, that's also a nine that doesn't help us. Oh, hey, I just remembered something. What? What is it? I, um, I found something earlier. What did he get? What did you find? This. What is it? The zero, zero bracelet? That doesn't help us, though. Zero's bracelet. That doesn't help us. We still don't make a digital root of nine, so adding zero on top doesn't help with that either. What did you say? Are you saying that seven has the number zero bracelet? Yeah. Where did you get that? Clover gave it to me. She did? Yeah. How did she come by it? Well, she found it. See, on the other side of door one, a deck, in the captain's quarters. She asked me to hold on to it because it was too big and bulky for her to be lugging around. He's lying. He even told us earlier. I haven't, I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Basic stuff. Well, well, I did borrow one thing. He probably said that so Snake doesn't find out about Clover. Oh my god, yes, of course. Alright, Junpei. Been nice knowing you. Wait, what? Come on, man, I'm just kidding. <sighs> Still, just in case, I want to make sure the Zero Bracelet gets picked up by the Red. Snake, give me a hand, alright? Error. Uh, why isn't it opening? Now, see, seven and snake have a digital root of nine. Seven plus two is nine. The zero bracelet on top of that should also make it nine. Therefore, the door should open because it's labeled door nine. It did not open. Um, well, the third asterisk lit up, so it must have registered the zero bracelet. Maybe it isn't actually zero. Huh? What? That bracelet may not actually produce the number zero when scanned. And there it is. Maybe it's not a number zero bracelet all along. That is what I'm saying. Hmm. Hmm. Why don't we try a few different combinations? Perhaps we can determine what number that bracelet actually contains. Oh, got it. They decided to use the following combination. Okay, Snake and Jinpei would be... 2 plus 6, which would equal 8, plus the bracelet. The bracelet could be a 1. The other option is Jinpei and 7, which is a 5 plus a 7, which is 12, which equals a 3. Plus the bracelet, it would have to equal a 6. The bracelet would have to be a 6 for that to work. Or we could try Snake and Jinpei, which is 2 and 5, which equals 7, plus 7, which equals 14. So 1 plus 5 is 5. The bracelet would have to equal 4 for it to be a 9. I'm just gonna save us some time and pick the middle option because I know that's the truth. Let's try me, seven, and the bracelet. If this Spoiler alert. works, then the number for this bracelet is six. At least I think it works, unless I've forgotten. 
Nope, I got it right. Okay. It opened. Yes, so it would seem. That means the bracelet is actually six. But how is that possible? The display on the bracelet clearly shows a zero. Well, clearly the display's lying. Problem solved. It's not that difficult. Uh oh. Oh man, that's not good. Uh oh. I guess our time's just about up, huh? Oh no. At any rate, we know now that the door can be opened. Let's go. People are dumb, okay, AJ? <laughs> wait, hold on, wait. What did I say? Did I say something? Oh, right, yes. Like I said, well, obviously the zero doesn't mean it's... Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay, you know, you're not wrong, Curtin. You're not wrong. But remember, this is coming from Junpei, who had the 300 IQ plays to work out Ace was the bad guy all along. So really, I don't know, man. But, Snake, are you sure? Yeah. You know that only Junpei and I can go through this way. You needn't worry. I have a solution to this problem. It was luck. Yeah, that was not luck. There's no way that big brain play was luck. My last resort. But if now is not the time for last resorts, then when? Last? Resort? Last resort? What? What's his last resort? Gotta admit, you really surprised me there, kid. I couldn't figure out how the hell you were gonna get out of that one. What do you mean? How come you didn't do that right off the bat? As I told you, it was a last resort. Wait, what? Had I used it at the beginning of the game, I would have come under a great deal of suspicion. Oh, he just took his arm off, didn't he? I imagine that most people would have taken it to mean that I was zero. Right, of course. He probably just took his prosthetic arm off and left it behind with the bracelet on it. Once they'd convinced themselves of that, I wasn't optimistic about my chances of making it out of here alive, let alone unscathed. I felt it best to play my cards close to the chest, as it were. That way, if I were in a situation where there was nothing else I could do, I'd have a little trick up my sleeve. Haha, <laughs> funny I'd joke. Just take my bracelet off. Oh, that works too. My brother's left arm is. I thought he took his whole arm off. No, he just took it's his bracelet like off. It's fake. It's not a real arm. I know this is kind of a weird thing to say, but I'm glad that's a fake arm. You don't have to be afraid of the door if you don't got a bracelet. You are correct. I think these stairs connect to the bottom deck. Doesn't look like it's underwater. Let's go Yet. through that door. You've got like no time left. Incinerator? Oh my. That doesn't sound very pleasant. Yeah, you don't say. It lights people on fire. See a typically. The gate, perhaps. Yeah. Right over here. How close are we to the? We're still in this big novel segment. How did you know that? Well, I'd be happy to regale you with the story. I imagine it should only take half a day or so. <laughs> <sighs> if you pull it, the door ought to open. Got it. Uh-oh. He be back, boys. He's back. What? Why? There's another nine door. Plot twist, by the way. Another nine door. Why is there another one? That's three nine doors. 999 nine, nine is the name of the game. And there are three nine doors. Ha ha! The name was a spoiler all along. But also not really. Wait, what? Automatic incineration will take place in nine minutes. Please evacuate the incinerator immediately. Oh my, how exciting. You've run quite a show here, Zero. What's the matter? Too frightened to understand? Here, let me explain. 
It said that the incineration system is about to activate. In nine minutes, this room will be engulfed in We flame. already know this. Hmm. Who are you? You don't recognize me? I'm hurt. It's me, Snake. Snake? Oh, yes. You are alive. He's like, oh, you're alive. I remember now. <laughs> I'm afraid your bizarre style had me confused. I'm quite glad to see that you're alive. Oh, well, shut up. Hmm. If you don't mind my asking, how did you get here? Snake, Junpei, Seven. The three of you couldn't have opened a door with a knife. What well, we did to deal with it. Hmm. Did you use Clover's bracelet, perhaps? What? Ah, well, your reaction suggests that you did not. Uh, hold on. Oh no, now this is where Snake is gonna find out. Why did you think we'd have Clover's bracelet? Oh. They haven't told you? Oh no. Told me what? Oh no. Hmm. Clearly not. Oh no. Normally I would take some time and enjoy the moment. But I'm afraid my time is at a premium just now. Yeah, oh boy indeed, Mr. Pitt. Snake doesn't know Clover's dead. I'll have to make this quick. Clover. Don't do it, Ace! Keep your goddamn mouth shut! Clover. I said stop it! He's dead. Don't listen to him, Snake. What happened to Clover? Clover died. Uh-oh. No, that's not true. Uh-oh. That's impossible. Uh-oh. It's a lie. It has to be a lie. The cat's been let out of the cage. Was that the rat? Rat, cat? I don't know. Oh, it's quite true. I can assure you of that. I killed her myself, you see. No! Don't say that! What? Oh, Snake's mad. He's opened his eyes. Ace just made Snake so mad he can see. He cured Snake's blindness. I'm sorry, did I stutter? I killed her. <sighs> I would have rather she died with less suffering. A bullet in her brain, perhaps, would have been ideal. <laughs> you cute, exactly. Hooray. Unfortunately, that would have made quite a bit of noise. Snake can see clearly now. His eyelids are gone. <laughs> Circumstances being what they were, I was forced to settle for the knife. The one the ninth man had. You remember. <laughs> He's just pushing him. I believe I caught her. Just below the shoulder blade. Stop. I was rather lucky, in fact. My first thrust went right between her ribs. Oh, he is trying to, to tilt him. Her flesh was so soft. He's, he's not even hiding it. He doesn't care. He wants to get a reaction. My knife slid in so easily. There was no resistance. He's a psycho. That feeling was... I confess, I feel rather excited. It is a powerful memory someday perhaps i hope i can feel it again. and no one's telling him to show up or anything like they're just all letting him talk incineration will begin in seven minutes i'm going to kill you hmm what was that i'll kill you i'll kill you ah so you are going to kill me please do come now i'm waiting no. Don't do it. Don't, don't listen to yes, him. Yes, don't Snake. listen to him. He is taunting you. Stop it, kid. He's screwing with your head. He's taunting you. Is there a problem? What are you waiting for, boy? Don't you want me to send you to join your sister? <laughs> don't. The snake. Don't do it. <gasps> He's going to do it, isn't he? <laughs> that gun's pointed right at him. You know he you know he's getting shot. Snake! 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 Dun dun dun! <laughs> Metal Gear Solid. Snake! Lotus! Hurry! This way! Incineration will begin in five minutes. Give me the woman. Yeah, because Ace shot Snake. I need her. Without her bracelet, I will be unable to open this door. Quickly now! 
I don't have time for your shenanigans. Well, you gotta have them. I see. Then it would seem I have no choice. The rest of you must die as well. Fortunately, I have five bullets left. One for Junpei, another for Lotus, and the last three for that lump of idiotic man you call Seven. Wow! The brutality. People are just being so mean to Seven. I will take Lotus's body with me and leave this room. Incineration will begin in four minutes. Well, it looks That's as some our time together is at an end. I rather enjoyed playing with you. Damn it! Goodbye. Kill you. What? Snake? Snake? What? No. Hey, Blackbird, how you doing? Snake's a zombie, slash vampire, slash something. He's a model. Snake's the real immortal one all along. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. St stay away from me. Get back. Stop. If you come any closer, I'll... I'll... Get away from me. <sighs> Listen to me. I said don't come any closer. Shit. You bastard. You should have gone for the head. <laughs> I think he used all of the rest of his shots on Snake, by the way. <laughs> Finally, you're. I'll kill you. <laughs> We're still alive! You won't kill away. Snake is the real MVP! You. You son of a bitch! You. You're a monster! Told you, you should have gone for the head, you're right! Should have gone for the head, like Thanos. Get off me! Let me go, damn you! This is it, Ace. Blackbird, no. We're going to. It's not meant to be flirting. Together. Major Val. That's MVP. Not. It's it's the most valuable per. Wait, no, it's. It's not major. It's most. Most valuable player, for starters. Not person, but also most, not major. <laughs> what? Incineration will begin in two minutes. Yeah, it's most yeah. valuable player. Damn it! Damn you! Get off! Let me go, you monster! Yeah, but it's most valuable player. Not major valuable person. <laughs> mm, I don't know about that one, Blackbird. Okay, 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 look. Think about it this way. My company owns a wonderful hospital. It has excellent doctors. You're, you're not wounded too seriously. I, I'm sure they can fix you up easily. Shoot Snake six times. You're not wounded too seriously. You don't have to die. You could be saved. Just let me go. He's not going to let you go, dude. You've killed his sister. <laughs> Pathetic. Begging for your <coughs> life. Snake, that's enough. You can stop now. Yes, he's right, Snake. You've done enough. Persuasion Zero. Come on, Snake, let's go. Let's get out of here. You have to come with us. We have to leave together. I I don't know about that, Blackbird. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know. I don't know where your logic's coming from. That doesn't, that doesn't seem right. The psychological damage. <laughs> Oh my god, could you imagine losing your hair? <gasps> That's a lawsuit. I apologize, but I'm afraid I can't do that. You'd best forget about me. You need to leave soon. Your test grades can do something. Okay, Al, don't need to hit me like that. That's just too real, Mr. Pitt. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I'm going to take him. Shut up! Be quiet! I can't believe we're over here joking about a serious moment. Like, Snake is over here getting his revenge on Ace, literally sacrificing his life to make sure they both literally burn in hell. They're actually gonna be incinerated, they're gonna burn in hell. And he's 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 cool with that. He wants revenge for his sister. I 
couldn't save Clover. My sister died because of me. Perhaps this will begin to atone for that. Perhaps in the afterlife she can forgive me. Now go. Go now. You have to go. Incineration will begin in one minute. God damn it! Shit! We're out of time! That we are. We gotta go! That we do. Uh, Junpei, what are you doing? You have to get out of here now! Snake! 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 <laughs> no! No! I have to help Snake! 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 Get off of me! I'm waiting for the game to make it. This is the perfect time for the game to make a Metal Gear Solid reference, and they haven't done it yet. They haven't done the extraordinarily drawn out snake. Let me go! Incineration will begin in 10 seconds. Oh, shoot, 10 seconds. They don't have any time. Seven. Six. Damn it, I don't get a choice, kid. Don't blame me for this, all right? Did you just punch Junpei? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Gates two and three are locked down. Beginning incineration. <laughs> he, he's... Damn you all! Why? Why? Why me? I don't deserve this! Yes, you do. You literally killed many people, and you couldn't care less. You deserve all of this. Hesame! Hesame Zero! Why? Why? And Zero's not even going to give you the satisfaction of an answer. Zero! Zero! Exactly, Mr. P. He deserves all of it. Hey, wait! Junpei! Junpei! Where are you going? You stay here. I'll go get Santa and June. You're gonna bring them here? How? Don't worry about that. Just stay here and wait, all right? <laughs> Actually, how is he going to? The doors are all closed. <sighs> I saw an elevator on the way here. If I can get it to work... Oh, maybe... okay. They bypass the door entirely. Please work. So they don't need to go through the nine door, they'll just take the elevator down. Santa! What a miracle. Damn it. Miracle. Where did they go? I mean, it's not a miracle until we can find them, though. They might not even be around. Can't find him. Nowhere to be seen. Take out the L and add the A, it's America. Oh boy. Connie! Uh-oh. Connie! What is he saying? No, no. It, it can't be. It's, it's impossible. Oh, Connie! Connie! Connie, are you alright? And where'd Santa go? Jumpy? Okay, she's okay. But where's Santa? Oh man. Connie. What the hell happened to you? You... You feel... Jumpy, 
I'm sorry. I, uh, I might not make it. She might not make it, guys. This whole time. No, no way, no way. I am going to let you die. I am going to save you. I promise. This whole game has basically been saving, trying to save June, no matter which wiggly wobbly timey wimey way we go about it. Mmm, Blackbird, that's a no thanks. She dies anyway. You don't know that, Mr. Pitt. You don't know, maybe she'll make it out. Maybe she'll make it. Thank you, Jumpy. What, this is only like, what, one of the seven endings she's died in? Like. Thank you so much. What a story. Uh, it's not the end of the game, Mr. Pitt. This isn't the end of the game. I severely misjudged how long it would take to finish the uh, game. I thought it would be finished this stream. I don't know anymore. Maybe there's one more stream left in it. Just kiss now. Jumpy. Really happy. Don't give me that I was crap. You're gonna see me again lots more times. Oh, 100% Mr. Pitt. But unfortunately, Junpei is in denial and isn't gonna let her die. So she's not gonna, he's not gonna take the opportunity to kiss her. You, you just gotta hang on. All right, Connie? Jumpy, did you know you meant a lot to me when we were kids. I liked you for a long time, Junpei. A really long time. God dang it, Mr. Pitt. You and your crush, I swear. Oh. Oh. Zero. You son of a bitch! Where are you hiding?! What the hell are you talking about? No. No, it hasn't. I'm not gonna let it end yet. He was the speakers all along. I'm gonna get out of here with Connie. Why? We chose the wrong path. The wrong path? So it goes. What are you talking about? There is no correct path rigged. No, there's a correct path, Mr. Pitt. I told you! I am not gonna lose! You haven't lost. I have lost. What? Connie, wait here. I'll be right back, I promise. Zero has lost. <sighs> the turns have tabled indeed. Damn it. Where are you? It doesn't matter. I need to get Connie out first. C C Connie! Oh god. No. No. Where is she? And Connie is gone. Connie. Connie! 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 He left for like half a second. June was literally in no condition to move. He leaves for a second, comes back, and June's gone. Wait. This is... And now you hear that sound? White smoke? Sleeping gas. The same ones used to kidnap him in the first place. We did just have her in our hands, Mr. Pitt. But unfortunately, that is the end of the stream. Ladies and gentlemen, the actual rest of the game I'll have to do tomorrow. Because I thought I'd be able to get it done this stream. However, I've been streaming for two and a half hours. 
and I didn't expect this ending to take so long, right? I expected this one to be significantly shorter so we'd move on to the real ending of the game. This is not that real ending. There is one ending left. I don't know how long this will be. I don't know if it's long or short or anything, but what I do know is I'll do it next stream. If it's very short, we'll do something else for the rest of the stream. There is a real ending, Mr. Pitt. An actual proper real ending. The key thing here is all the endings we've experienced are all canon, right? Every single bad ending we've come across where everyone dies, all those different endings, they're canon. They canonically happen. I'm not going to say any more because spoilers, but all of the endings were necessary for the Nonary game to work. And if you want to find out how the game actually ends, all the mysteries being solved, who is Zero? Do they escape? Do they not? How did things happen? What did Zero mean by I have lost? What did he mean by you have chosen the wrong path? All these questions will be answered in the next stream. No, 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 Mr. Pitt, no spoilers. No spoilers. The end. Or is it? Thank you everybody for watching the stream. I hope you've enjoyed. We're gonna save this game right here. There is one ending left. That ending, this here, is a key. This key has unlocked this ending here. Which is what we'll be doing next. Next stream, we will be going and completing the real ending of the game. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. I've had an absolute blast and I'm glad to have you all here with me. Thank you again, Mr. Pitt, for all the sub gifts. Now I'm gonna go pass on the stream, the raid, to Pew Pew. Pew Pew was playing Slay the Spire. So we're gonna go say hi to him. Um, it's been a while, we'll, we'll pop in, we'll give him a raid, a nice little, maybe not a raid, there's not enough people for a raid, that'd be dumb. Let's just do a nice little host. <laughs> um, thank you all for being here, have a great time zone, and thanks for sticking by for the long two and a half hour long stream. Have a good one, Mr. Pitt. See you, Blackbird. And anyone else who's over been here lurking the whole time, thank you for being here today, tonight, this evening. And I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.